quitting the scale part two. Okay, what about the people who do claim to lose 10 pounds in one week? There are reasons for this, beginning with your glycogen levels. They're changing, so which can cause large weight swings in either direction. Glycogen is a short-term energy source that your body uses when it needs immediate energy. Although it's produced from many different types of foods, foods rich in carbohydrates like bread trigger glycogen production more than any other food source. It's a very good energy source, so much that it's the major reason why marathon runners carb load the day before a race so they can fuel up on glycogen. However, in terms of your weight, glycogen has a very interesting attribute. Three to four grams of water will bond to each gram of glycogen. You always knew that diet played a big role in both fat and weight loss, but once you understand the role of glycogen and water that they have with each other, a lot of things will make sense for you. So for example, this is why people lose weight on carb restricting diets like Atkins diet. The Atkins diet and other diets similar to ketogenic and paleo, etc., revolve around one major concept, restricting carbohydrates and by extension glycogen. So once your glycogen levels become depleted, there is less water for the glycogen to bond to. This is why many people who go on ketogenic style diets appear to lose a lot of weight very quickly. Much of the initial weight loss is simply water. Here's a common situation most people have probably experienced at least once. So after going on a strict diet for a couple of weeks and being careful with everything you eat, you treat yourself to a weekend where you eat whatever you want because you feel like rewarding yourself. We all do. So then on Monday, you stand on the scale and you're five pounds heavier. You get upset, you become frustrated, you feel like all your hard work was completely wasted. Good news, you did not waste any of your hard work. It's glycogen that's fooling you. So follow me for part three on quitting the scale to stop weighing yourself.